How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching another video. So tonight we're going to be making a rear support bag for your rifle or in this case a squeeze bag. Now these are really useful when you're zeroing your rifle or when you're shooting longer distances for you crazy guys that can shoot like a thousand yards. They really help stabilize the rear of the rifle. They're very easy to make and the good thing about making your own is it is fully customizable and a hell of a lot cheaper. It's not very hard. All you need is a sock. The longer the better. Some of these knee-high women's stockings and some kind of stuffing. In this case we're using poly pellets. Now I've seen people use stuff like dirt and sand and rice, buckwheat shells, whatever you got that's what you're going to use. Let's get to work. guys if you want to purchase the poly pellets or the women's knee-high stockings from Amazon I'll leave links in the description all right here we go now the reason I said the longer the better is you can just kind of tie it in a knot like this if your sock is too short then it's gonna be harder for you to tie a knot in it and you don't want to get it too tight because you still want to have the ability to kind of squeeze it and make it go up and down if it's too compacted you won't have as much range when you squeeze it so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this knee-high stocking we're gonna stuff it in here open it and then pour this stuff inside okay okay we got the knee-high stocking rolled around the outside of the sock so that's going to stay put now the issue is keeping this open now if you don't have a pour spout like this right i'm just going to stick that in there and pour it in you can just make your own funnel use a coke bottle plastic bottle water bottle and then you can just jam it in there just like that and start to pour whatever stuffing you have inside of the stock and just work it down gradually because it's going to be kind of tight in there kind of bang it down a little bit and you should be fine okay now my only tip here is before you start shaking it around remember to close this up give it a little shake as you kind of massage it down a little bit if you don't remember to pinch this you're gonna have plastic beads bouncing all over the place so just be careful we're almost to a point now when it gets to a certain point you're gonna unroll this and then just start filling it in ah okay that's just about the thickness i think i want and that it might actually be a little bit too big but that's what's nice about having the flexibility is you can just squash it down when you need it now you're just going to pull out the stocking a little bit make sure there's no stuffing in here because what you're going to do is just knot this twice to make sure that none of your stuffing escapes give it a little knot there pull that through now stuff that inside Give it one final milk, and then just give it a knot. And there you go. There is your rear support bag. And here's what it's going to look like under a rifle. Let me show you the awesomeness of a rear squeeze bag. Okay, pretend this is the backside of your rifle. When you need it, you're going to put it right under there. To lift up the buttstock, you're just going to give it a little bit of a squeeze. Then when you don't need it, you're going to let it go. Now this is on the flat side. If you needed more of a support, more height, you can put it in just like that. And it'll sit just so comfortably in that nice, warm, cozy sock. And again, if you need to raise the buttstock, you just squeeze it. And if you don't need it, you just let it go. Pretty easy stuff, really effective, super easy to make, and really affordable. I told you guys that was going to be super easy and super affordable. Now remember, you want to leave a little bit of room so that when you squeeze it, there's room for the bag to expand when you squeeze it. But that's about it, guys. That's the ending of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.